Hello friends. Today I'm going to discuss vector in Java. As you already know, array. An array is a container object that holds a fixed number of values of a single type. The length of the array is established when the array is created. The length is fixed after creation. Then comes dynamic array. Dynamic array is a variable size list data structure that allows element to be added or removed dynamic array overcomes a limit of static array which have a fixed capacity that needs to be specified at allocation there are two ways to implement this dynamic array one is using array list this array list class implements list interface and it is based on an array data structure it is widely used because of functionality and flexibility it offers most of the developers choose array list over array as it is a very good alternative of traditional java arrays array list is a resizable array implementation of the list interface as we already know the limitation with the array is that it has a fixed length so if it is full you cannot add more elements to it same way if there are number of elements gets removed from it the memory consumption would be the same as it does not shrink on the other hand this array list can dynamically grow and shrink after the addition and removal of elements the second way to implement this dynamic array is a vector a vector can be defined as a dynamic array that can grow or shrink on its own it means vector will grow when we add more elements to it and it will shrink when elements are removed from it this behavior is unlike of arrays which are static but similar to array vector elements can be accessed using integer indices the difference between the array list and the vector is array list is non synchronized which means multiple threads can work on array list at the same time for example if one thread is performing an add operation on array list there can be another thread performing remove operation on array list at the same time in a multi threaded environment while vector is synchronized it means if one thread is working on vector no other thread can get a hold of it unlike array list only one thread can perform an operation on a vector at a time this then there is a predefined class vector class in java a vector class is a part of java.util package and it implements list interface a vector is an array of object or a vector of objects it has four constructors first constructor is the constructor without any parameter this creates a default vector of initial capacity of 10 then second parameter or second constructor is with the one parameter when we pass one parameter so it creates a vector whose initial capacity is specified by this size which is given as a parameter here then third constructor it takes two parameter size and increment it creates a vector whose initial capacity is specified by size and incremented increment is specified by this increment it specifies the in number of elements to allocate each time that a vector is resized upward so here you can see if this we are using this constructor it will create an uh, create a vector of initial capacity 10 and when we try to add 11th element that time the capacity will be double so that time the capacity will become 20 in this case the capacity will be increased by this increment parameter and the fourth constructor it creates a vector that contains the element of a collection c then there are three ways to create a vector class object first method is we just give create an empty vector with the default initial capacity of 10 it means vector will be resized when the 11th element needs to be inserted in the vector so by default 
vector doubles its size it means in this case the capacity will be would remain 10 till we insert 10 elements once we try to insert 11th element then it would become 20 double of initial capacity 10 this is one method of creating vector class the second vector object sorry the second method is here we can create a vector object with initial capacity so for example here we are creating a vector with the initial capacity of 3 then third method there is one more method of creating vector object where we can specify initial capacity and capacity increment also so here for example we are creating a vector of initial capacity 4 and increment capacity increment of 6 here we have provided two parameters one is the initial capacity which is 4 and second parameter we have specified that capacity increment which is 6 it means the initial capacity is 4 and capacity increment is 6 it means when we try to insert fifth element the size will become 10 4 plus 6 10 and when we will try to insert 11th element then it will become 10 plus 6 16 okay these are few commonly used methods of vector class there are so many i'm just explaining few commonly used methods the first one is to add element so this method inserts the element at the end of the vector second method is int capacity this method returns the current capacity of the vector then third is size it returns the current size of the vector this size and capacity are two different things size will tell the number of elements present in the vector and the capacity will tell the capacity of the vector to hold the element how many elements it can store the next method is set size it takes one parameter it changes the existing size with the specified size which is passed as a parameter here next method is contains this method checks whether the specified element is present in the vector if the element has been found it returns true otherwise it returns false value next method is contains all it returns true if all element of collection c are present in the vector next method is element at it returns the element present at the specified location in vector then if you want to check the first element then we can use this method first element it is used for getting the first element of the vector same way there's a method called last element which will return the last element of the vector then next get index so this will return the element at a specified index which is specific which is given as a parameter here next method is is empty this method returns true if vector does not have any element and the return type is boolean so it returns either true or false value next method is remove element this method removes the specified element from vector the element which is specified in the parameter it will remove that specified element from the vector then remove all method is used to remove all those element from vector which are present in the collection c next is set element at so here it takes two parameters the element and the index value it updates the element of specified index with the given element so these are only few commonly used methods if you want to see all the methods present here i'll show you how we can check as i as i told you how we can check all the methods and constructor present in the vector class we can use java p utility so java p and we have to write complete 
path so this vector is defined in java.util package so here write java.util dot vector keep the v capital of the vector class and press enter and here you will get the complete detail of this vector class here yeah. mark this and you can see here the constructors which we discussed then the method set size capacity size is empty index of last element element at first element set index set element remove element insert element add element see you can get the complete detail about this class and methods and constructor of this class this is how you can check using java p utility now let's see one program as an example of vector so import java.util package then i have taken a public class the name of the class is vector example in this defined main method and here first we will create a vector of initial capacity 2 so we have created this vector so vector the type of the vector the type of the value which we are going to store the string vector name vec then using new keyword we have created a vector of string and the initial capacity 2 now we will add element to this vector we will use this inbuilt method of vector class add element so vector object dot method name add element and we will pass one parameter the fruit name will add one element will add we have added the second element we know that the initial capacity is two so we can store two elements in this when we try to insert third element then this capacity is automatically increased by two the double of the present capacity so we'll insert third element then we'll add fourth element so now the capacity is four it can hold four elements when we try to insert fifth element again the capacity will be doubled so here first we will check the size and the capacity increment so we can use this size method to print the size of this vector using this object vector vec dot size then we can print the default capacity using this capacity method so here size is 4 and default capacity is also 4 because we created a vector of size 2 and now we added 4 elements so that that capacity of 2 is doubled when we added to third element after that then we added fifth element now again the, now the capacity become eight because it was in here it was capacity was four so it it became double so when we try to add fifth element the capacity became eight then we added sixth element seventh element and once again we will try to see the size and the capacity here see size will be seven because we have added seven elements but the capacity will be eight and then we want to display the vector element for this we are using this enumeration interface here we are using this enumeration interface the enumeration interface defines the method by which you can enumerate obtain one at a time the element in the collection of the object this uh, is a legacy interface has been superseded by iterator now although it is uh, not deprecated enumeration is considered obsolete for new codes but still it is used by several methods defined by legacy classes such as vector and properties it is also used by several other api classes and is currently widespread use in application code so because it is still in use it was retrofitted for generics by jdk5 we have to declare this in this way the enumeration object and the vector dot element we want to uh, display print one by one and this enumeration has specified two methods 
which we are going to make use so we want to print all the elements one by one so the one method is has more element so this enumeration has one method has more element so this has more element must return true while there are still more element to extract and it will return false when all element have been enumerated and the another method of this enumeration is next element next element return the next object in the enumeration so that is each call to next element obtains the next object in the enumeration and it will continue to give the next element till the there is no more element to display so here we are trying to print all the elements of the vector so when we will execute this program we'll get this output so output will be this here initial size here we tried initial size was 4 because we added four elements here then initial capacity increment was also 4 because we created a vector of size 2 but when we tried to insert third element that capacity was increased by 2 doubled by doubled of the double of the previous capacity and then we try to add here fifth element again the capacity became double of four eight then we added fifth element sixth element and seventh element so here after this the vector size became seven but the capacity was eight and then we have tried to print all the elements now i'll execute this program and i'll show you output of this program here i have copied the same program which i explained in this notepad and i am trying to compile it using java c command java c space program name dot java and after that we will compile this program using java command And here we got the output size is 4 default capacity increment is 4 then size after addition is 7 capacity after increment is 8 and then we got all the elements of vector now i'll show you one more program for this in this we have created you can see here the class name is vector demo in the main function we have created a vector of initial size 3 and increment is 2 so here a vector is created v of initial size 3 and increment 2 then we are trying to print the initial size and capacity here size will be 0 because we have not added any element in this but the capacity will be 3 then we try we are, here we have not specified the type in the vector element while creating this vector it means we can add integer flow any type of element in this but while adding we have to specify the type of that element which we are adding so i am trying to add one integer then second integer then third integer now the capacity is three so we have already inserted added three element now when we try to add fourth element then the capacity will be incremented by two it means the new capacity will become five three plus two five so when we try to add fourth element here the capacity become five and then we add, try to print the capacity so here capacity will be five then we added fifth element still it is holding five elements the size is five and the capacity is also five when we try to print this capacity here we can see the capacity will be five now we try to add sixth element so again the capacity will be incremented by two so now new capacity will become five plus two seven then we added sixth element and the seventh element here you can see uh, i have added this double element here double element here and integer element so total seven elements are added and the capacity is also seven now current capacity will try to print it is seven then again we try to add eight elements so again the capacity will be increased by two and then we added two more elements then we'll print this current capacity 
and after that if you want to print the last element then what we can do we can use this inbuilt method last element so vector dot last element it will print the last element the last element here is 10 okay till now this 10 then we are trying to add more element we want to check whether this vector contains element 3 so we are using contains method so vector object dot contains method it will give result true or false so if the vector contains the element 3 it will print it will give true result otherwise false so here we can see we have added 3 so it, it is going to return true result here and then we are printing and then we are printing that that vector contains 3 after that we are adding one more element one more element and then we are trying to print the first element so the first element which we added was one so this is going to print the one as a first element then we are going to print all the elements of the vector for that we are using this enumeration interface and we have created an object of this enumeration vnm and then we will print the elements using the two methods has more element and next element of this enumeration interface and this is going to be the output of this program so here initial capacity here when we try to print initial size zero because we didn't add any element we just created an vector here initialized uh, with the size three and increment two so size was zero and the capacity which we defined was three after that once we added four element then the capacity was incremented by two and it became five so here again we try to print capacity five then we added fifth element still the capacity was five so we printed the capacity five then we try to insert one sixth element again the capacity was incremented by two and then the capacity became seven so we inserted sixth and seventh and the capacity was seven then again we add when we try to insert this eighth element again the capacity became seven plus two nine so we inserted this these two more elements and then our capacity was nine and then we tried to print the last element so here the last element was this one because this was the last element which we added and our vector contains three this gave it true result so this was printed that vector contains three after that we tried to add two more elements and then we tried to print the first element the first element is one because this is the first element which we added here and then using this enumeration we have printed all the elements which are present in this vector thank you so much for watching